Hey, what's up, y'all? King JB. You know what time it is, man. Doing the same shit I always do, but um, I'm I'm mixing it up a little bit here. Uh, don't have no sponsors for this yet, so um, I'm not really gonna speak on any right now because this is a different thing. Um, as y'all know, pro wrestling affiliates radio is coming out this week. Uh, so I'm also opening it up and beginning the pro wrestling kingdom. This is separate from the MMA kingdom. So if you want to be involved, sponsor that shit, roll with that. Feel free to get at me. You know what I'm saying? Full guard fight gear is already in there. Uh, Jason London's my co-host. You know, we're going to keep that shit moving all day, every day. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to keep the shit moving. So this is going to be my first ever Pro Wrestling Kingdom video blog. Um, I will, I'm going to go ahead and leave my Pro Wrestling blogs on my MMA uh, YouTube. Now, my bunch of shit blogs, when I talk about other shit, I will create a new one for. I'll get let y'all get that so y'all feel that then. So... In terms of, uh, of pro wrestling, man, I'm going to kind of go over a few things today, including the Monday Night Raw results. <clears throat> In fact, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the Monday Night Raw results uh, here, here, here shortly. I do want to say, you know, with the CM Punk thing, uh, a lot of y'all don't understand CM Punk. Uh, he's doing an angle where he's talking shit about the WWE. He really is leaving the company, you know, he's supposed to be. But let me tell you a little inside thing. The things that he posted on Twitter are word-by-word -word replicas of what he did when he left Ring of Honor. You understand what I'm saying? And what he did is he uh, said the same shit, had his title match, won the title, and ended up staying there for two more months. And then leave. I think we're going to see the same thing here. I don't think CM Punk's really leaving. I think he's going to beat John Cena at the Money in the Bank pay-per-view, get the title, and he's going to stick around for a few more months. Uh, I think we're going to just, like I said, you know, wrestling repeats itself a lot over and over again. So, you know, I think this is going to be the same type of situation. You know, you can agree with me or not, but uh, usually wrestling, if you if you got the ability to predict it, unless they just throw a whammy at you, it's pretty, it's pretty motherfucking simple. Now, we're seeing Punk is getting in a little bit of heat, though. At a show this past weekend, uh, he was caught on tape, you know, going back and forth with a fan and he called him a, a fag or a homo. He called him a homo. You know, TMZ jumped on that shit. And, you know, WWE had to apologize and say that, you know, he's an you know, uh, independent contract. You know how that shit goes. So, CM Monk, I know he's drawing a lot of heat right now. Uh, but let me ask you guys, you know, do you have a problem with shit like this? Let me ask you, if you're gay, does the word homo really bother you that bad? You know what I'm saying? If sucking dick doesn't bother you, why the fuck does the word homo bother you? If you can stomach dick, then you should be able to deal with the word homo, man. It's not, I don't understand what's derogatory about it. You know what I'm saying? You suck dick, you're a homo or a chick, period. I don't see what the problem is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, motherfuckers say I'm straight or heterosexual. I, I don't get mad if you call me a hetero or whatever the fuck it's called. So why do you get mad if I call you a homo? Big up to CM Punk, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing that shit. Fuck these people. You know, Raw started out, you know, obviously having a recap of R-Truth and John Cena from last week. You know, Cena came down, talked about uh, CM Punk. Basically, a promo that basically didn't go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's talking about how CM Punk is not going to be at the pay-per-view because he's suspended. He wants answers from Vince McMahon. He's hoping to get those answers and still have the match. Okay? That's basically all that that promo was about. Uh, by the way, this is Raw last night. Uh, we got Eve Torres. Uh, we got Eve Torres and Kelly Kelly um, against the Bella Twins. Eve Torres and Kelly Kelly did beat the Bella Twins. Not too bad. We got a tag team championship uh, on the line with David Otunga and Michael McGillicuddy. They did beat Santino and Kozlov, uh to defend the, to retain the titles. Uh, we got Jack Swagger beating Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, we also had a number one contenders match, Alberto Del Rio. Uh, he beat R-Truth and Rey Mysterio on a triple threat match. Alex Riley beat The Miz in the main event. So, not too bad of a, 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 a Raw. Uh, I, I don't really know if I like Alex Riley beating The Miz yet. I think that, you know, they're trying to build a nice little face there, and I, I'm not against it. Alberto Del Rio being number one contender, I'm very happy with. Um, R-Truth, I'm very happy with him being a main eventer now. Um, what I'm not happy with is I don't understand why Sergeant Slaughter is getting TV time 
but yet Zack Ryder has to do all this internet, you know, true Hollywood, you know, whatever story, Long Island story. Why is he not getting um, that respect? I don't really understand that. You know, those are your raw results, though. Um, basically, in a nutshell, we're, we're building up to the, the money in the bank. I'm pretty cool with everything. I Like I said, I really do like the R-Truth, Rey Mysterio, Alberto Del Rio, all them cats in the, in the main situation uh, to be the next challenger, possibly for Cena. I think Alberto Del Rio versus John Cena. I think they should have a program that pretty much lasts the rest of the year. I would like to see that. I think it would be good. Or, you know, keep R-Truth in it. Um, anything to get, uh, you know, Cena out of there. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a very anti-Cena motherfucker. So that's just the way it goes. Uh, but anyway, you know, that was raw. Um, there's not a lot of wrestling news. And since this is my first wrestling video blog, um, I'm not really going to go through too much. Got a lot of things to do today, as I told you. Um, you know, a lot of things going on. You know, Chris Jericho's pushing for Arn Anderson to be in the Hall of Fame. I agree with that. Um, it's basically, you know, that's pretty much it. You know, uh, X-Pac and William Regal also support Arn Anderson. And Arn Anderson should be in the Hall of Fame. Um, he, original Four Horsemen. He's a beast, man. And he does a lot of work behind the scenes. He writes a lot of the shows. Give Arn Anderson that Hall of Fame, man. He deserves to be there. He's a, he's a motherfucking beast. But anyway, um, you know, that, that this is a small video blog. That's what I got right now. If y'all ever have any questions on this and you want me to answer them, holla at me. Let me know. I'll definitely get in touch with you. But anyway, for the most part, I'm out of here. I got business to handle. Um, MMA, I mean, excuse me, Pro Wrestling Affiliates Radio will debut this week. And I'll do another video blog, probably one or two a week. But anyway, like I told you, I found a lot of money today, and I'm going to go spend it.